you are watching Football Shorts. Welcome to Football Shorts. We're here at Irvine Victoria Park this afternoon for their home game against Kelo Rovers. Kelo Rovers the visitors, but of course the Vicks are already promoted to the first division. Should still be a good game to do though, Eddie. No, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing the Vicks. I've heard so much about them this season. You and I have seen them at the beginning of the season in the, the famous Murmurs game, the yeah, Derby game right. <laughs> against the Meadow. Okay, they lost that night, but you actually saw the makings of your team that night for Irvine Vic, so I'm really excited about seeing what's happened over the season yep. with the Stevie Wilson's team. Of course, but of course, Keller Rovers won't be here just to make up the numbers. They'll be looking no. for a result too. No, they'll, they'll be, they want to spoil it. I mean, Givens out there as well, I mean, they're, they're, they're struggling for the points to win the championship, so Keller's going to say to himself, well, let's spoil this for these guys. Set to be an exciting game. With me is Vic's manager Stevie Wilson ahead of today's game. Stevie, first of all, congratulations on your promotion to the first division. Thank you. What much. a fantastic achievement for you this year. Yeah, yeah, well, it's been excellent this season. Uh, it's been a long haul. Um, we were a bit upset with the relegation last year and we used that as our motivation to uh, uh, make sure we got the job done right this year. And, uh, it's been great. The boys have been absolutely excellent this season. Yeah, and everyone at the club's delighted. Obviously, a good team spirit and a good club spirit, I think. There is a club you. spirit there. Um, again, we had the office of the sad news, Ashina Thompson, passing away at the start of the season. We've been here for years and involved in junior football, and it was really, really tough, you know. Um, but uh, it actually brought us close to the players in the committee who just sat after Sheena's death and sat together on tea and biscuits and all that and really brought it together. Yeah, we just need to concentrate on our job, make sure we do our bit. Um, we've obviously got two games to go. We've played Kelo twice, uh, but they've both been really, really tough games. Brilliant. Well, best of luck for Thank the game. Thank you very much. And cheers. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Right. So it was a battle, obviously, playing Kelo. Uh, it was a tight game, didn't the first time in the cup. It was 1-0. And then second game was the in the last 15 minutes. To make it look comfortable, but it's two hard games. Uh, I imagine today will be the exact same. And obviously, if you can pick up the points here today, Robert, it gives you a good chance of finishing top of the league. Well, that's, that's still our target. Although the club's got promotion, every single player in the dressing room wants to win the league, so we'll put as much pressure on the as we can. Thanks a lot for the game. Right, thank you. Thank you very Cheers. much. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. Well, welcome along to Irvine Victoria Park this afternoon, where Irvine Vicks take on Kelo Rovers. Yeah, and this windy day, you can probably hear it in the microphone, get picked up with the sound guys. They're going off their head out there with that wind. And also the train's going by, there's the, the air train heading from Irvine. And it's the Vicks to kick us off in this first half. Nice cross. Goalkeeper fumbles, was that a foul? Goal! No, the referee's not giving it. Here it is again, Beverly. That's Adam that's up there. Yeah, it looks like a Kello and Vicks sandwich there. And Davidson puts it in the net, but the referees disallowed it. And here's Russell on the ball now, into Chesney. Gets it back. And that's a neat wee knock on there. Oh, it's a terrific yes, passing it. game. Good here's, turn. Yeah, that's a good cross in, Eddie. It's a header in. It's Russell. And here's the captain, Burgess. That's played in, knocked on by Adam. It's neat passing here again, Eddie. Yeah, it's great the way they build it up towards the 18-yard line. Here's a shot. Davidson. Davidson, well held by the goalkeeper. And here's Kello with the first corner of the game. That's a good corner, good header. Oh, that was close with the number five for Kello. And here's Russell coming out to challenge. Oh, it's quite high, it's a kung fu kick there, Eddie. Yeah, you're right there, grasshopper. There it is again. <laughs> Free kick for Kello. Take a look at that wall, Beverly. Oh, yeah, it's a goal! And it's number seven for Kello. I think Eddie's put that away. Terrific goal. Let's see it again in slow-mo. Now look at the wall. Small man to the right, goalkeeper caught out, having to struggle and push hard to try and parry that ball away. It was actually a poor wall but a terrific free kick. That's 1-0, Kello Rovers. So not the start the Vicks would have been hoping for here this afternoon, Eddie. No, is Kello going to spoil it for the Vicks? Aiming for this championship, they need these three points, they're going to get the three points. They've one possession back here though. Down the left-hand side to Russell again. Again, they're working their way through. It's a nice ball into the channel. He's turned him. It's a lob back into Nathan Yard. Is it is it a penalty? Well he goes down in the box there. The referee's given it. Here it is in slow mo, Beverly. Yeah, the ref was right there, Eddie. The, uh, it's pretty weak, I think. Ah, uh, it's a 50-50. But they get the penalty and they put it away. It's Kevin Adam. 
Here we are, any young player out there want to learn how to take a penalty? This is it. Adam, coolly taken, goalkeeper, to the right, down the centre. One all, great goal by Adam. So, all even. Kells kick us off again. That's a nice ball floated into the channel. Yeah, they're not going to rest Keller Rovers, they're pushing the Vicks back there. It's a long throw in. Good header, good shot, oh, over the bar. Good shot there, here it is from the back. And it's a screamer. Corner Vicks, and Young's up, chance, just over the bar. Yeah, that was a close one Beverly. That was really close. Here's a passing game again with Vicks, cross in, held by the goalkeeper. And here's the keeper looking to build, I think. Play it out from the back. He's rolled it out. He's rolled it out to Davidson. Oh, and it's a goal! He's lobbed him. Oh, he's lobbed the goalkeeper. What was the goalkeeper thinking? The hit is in slow motion. He's walking out, hoping to pass out. That's a dreadful thing to do in the middle of a park. It's intercepted by Davidson. There he is. He looks up. Goalkeeper's right out of his box. Leans back. Lifts it over. And straight into the back of the net. Yeah, that was good, quick thinking there by Davidson. That's an excellent finish. And what was the goalkeeper thinking? And that's 2-1 to Irvin Vicks. Here's Darren Russell with a throw in. Finds Adam. Laid off. off. Oh, it's off the post. That's Davidson again there. Yeah, young Davidson seems to be in the thick of things, Beverly. That's half time. Half time is up. Irvin Vicks 2, Keller Rovers 1. The first 15 minutes is mainly the Vicks, but that penalty, the penalty was actually a free kick yeah, inside yeah. the box here. What a great view from the back. And I must have said, I was tempted to shout at the goalkeeper, put your ball a bit to the right, you know, because the ball just curled right across. And unfortunately, I think the wind caught the ball and dropped and dipped very, very quickly at the back. Yeah, it's a great free kick. The player did well to put it away. Yeah, it but then Vicks have gone straight back up the park and scored. Yeah, it was a really good goal as well. Good timing, five minutes after that one there, they just got the goals at the right time. And then all of a sudden the Vicks seem to turn it on. The big fella number 10 up front just seems to be playing well. We saw him again the Meadow. Yeah, the, the, the front players are definitely doing really well. Aye. I think they're starting to relax a wee bit and keep good control of the ball. Keller Rovers will be looking to take something back in the second half. Into the second half, it's Keller to kick us off. Yeah, and the Vicks will need to maintain this and keep it up in order to keep the pressure on Girvin. Yeah, well they're 2-1 up, but I think Kello will be looking to get something back in this half too. Yeah, kello has been dangerous, they've had a few chances themselves. Throw into the Vix. Kello put the pressure on, look at that. Forcing hard, bad pass back. Yeah, with one possession here, played forward early. A nice turn and shot, round to the left hand side. Taking on the full back. Ah, it's a poor cross. Burgess had it covered. The Kello again, back in the attack. Nice one, two up the line. Crossover, too long. Trying to keep it in. No, nope. out for a throw in. And Vix pushing for another goal. It's an up and under into the 18 yard area. Davidson. Oh, it's over the bar. Took that on his chest and volleyed it. That was unlucky. Vix back in again. And we pass back to the goalkeeper. The referee has to give it. It's a foul. Yeah, it's a definite pass there back there. There it is there, so we touch to the goalkeeper. And the wall's lined up, Eddie. How are they going to break that prison wall? Look at it, ten players in there. Russell. Bang, it's a goal! He scored. They got it through that. How did he manage that, Beverly? Well, he just hit it low and hard, Eddie, and the walls jumped, basically. And um, yeah, It's like a scrum for the All Blacks, look at that. In the goal, then it sneaks through. I mean, even the guy in the line there ducks away. Yeah, the wall's broken and uh, Russell's managed to put that away. It's a strumash. And here's Kello coming back again, trying to get back into the game. Played forward. It's intercepted by Young. Yeah, that's a good interception, that. Cleared by Lamb. Here they come again, though. That's a shove. That's a free kick. Played in. Once again, cleared by the Vicks defence. Holding fast. And here's Ablor playing it wide. It's a free kick to the Vicks again. Cross into that dangerous area. Goalkeeper collects it well. It's a corner kick late in the game. Yep. Referee's looking at his uh, watch. Can't be long to go now. And the Vicks can hold this 3 1. Put pressure on Girvin. 
Yeah, there it is. Referee has blown his whistle. Full time. Irvin Vix 3. Keller Rovers 1. And let's hear from manager Stevie Wilson. With me is Irvin Vix manager Stevie Wilson at the end of the game. Stevie, congratulations. 3 1, it finished up. A convincing win for you here today. Yeah, yeah. I thought we were in full control of the game, to be honest. A lot of boys started really, really well, which has been a talk all week. Um, and I thought we were in full control. I would have liked to say. Uh, Made a couple of other goals um, before half time. We did a couple of good crosses into the box, so we just didn't quite convert. Um, obviously, going to go behind against the run of play. Um, but again, the boys have showed their character again. We go and get a penalty right away back yeah. into the game, mm-hmm. and we looked pretty comfortable, to be honest. Um, but it's, it's, it's another home victory, one defeat in the league campaign at home. Uh, we're unbeaten away from home now, so it's another three. Another step towards finishing line. Yep, yep. And I think a feature today was how well the team communicated. You could see it from the side. Yeah, um, they worked really hard. It's something we really talk about communication and talking and helping and, and plugging wee holes when, when holes uh, start to appear in the team. Because we're asking boys to get forward and take the gamble. So when you take the gamble, there is going to be holes when we give the ball away. Um, and we ask boys to really work hard to cover each other. And, and they do that really well. So they know exactly their positions, they know exactly each other's position and where they should be. And when they're called upon, they can go in and do the job pretty comfortably. Yeah. So we can get the ball back as quick as we can. Definitely. And leadership right from the back, from the keeper, through the captain, right yep. through the team. Yeah, the spine of the team is pretty good. Uh, uh, Chris Lamb's been with us for a number of years. Uh, Robert Burgess, uh, club captain, she's talking and organising, sector on um, through a midfield. Uh, and then you've got um, Kevin Adam up front, and you've got Eddie and, and Scott Chesney. So the spine of the team and the experience in the team is really, really good. And we've got a sprinkler, young, youth, uh, energetic boys as well that do a lot of running for us. So. Yep, and you sailed it with the third goal in the second half. It was obviously a pass back. Yeah, yeah. Again, I thought we should have uh, had another couple in the second half as well, but I'll take it. Uh, 3 1 victory. Um, Again, obviously the boys passed it back and we've got a free kick. It's a great finish for Darren Russell. So, Fantastic. Uh, well, congratulations. A great result. Thank you very result. much. Thanks Good very stuff. much. Thanks, Thank Stevie. you. Cheers. So there it is. It finished up 3-1 here today at Urban Vicks Park. Now, there's a debate, by the way. <laughs> was it 3 or was it 4? It was 3-1 <laughs> it finished up for Urban Vicks. It was a disallowed goal, is that right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, Kelly Rovers came here today and they fought hard, but the Vicks managed to do a job. Eddie. Yeah, they did really well. I was really impressed with the Vicks. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're up there. And I wouldn't be surprised, I mean, when they get into the next league, they're going to shake it up quite a bit. Yep, they remind so. me up front, remember you and I were talking about they are up front with the buffs. The buffs have got these three, four players that are really fast, speedy. We number seven with him and the big fella Eddie you mentioned as well. Yep. They connect well. The number seven just seems to move all over the place. Yeah, that's Tons Chesney. Of pace. Chesney's Chesney. breaking forward. Yeah, the interplay was really good. Yeah, it was terrific to see. Also, what I liked as well was was the way the, the defence just held. They just just held. It was just so smooth the way they did it. And the big centre half you mentioned, you liked him. He's a really good player. Well, it's the captain the Robert cap- Burgess, I think. Oh, what a player he is. Yeah. He holds it. Oh, you could see it. Yeah. Um, I was really impressed, Beverly. Yeah, me too, Eddie. I think it was a great convincing win for them, and that's another step forward towards winning the league. Yeah, that's it. And hopefully they get it. We don't know the government scores yet, but hopefully they get those points and they win the actual championship. They're up, but it'd be nice to have the championship, wouldn't it? Absolutely. But you can see the spirit and the camp camaraderie here between the players and everybody at the club I think. Yeah it's a great feeling uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm an Irvine man I'm actually proud to, to know that the team is doing so well up here. Yeah, um, and Steve Wilson doing a great job too. And Steve is doing a great job and his staff and the players. Fantastic, well there you go 3-1 it finished. Join us next time for more highlights here at Fitba Shorts thanks for being with us today. One, two, three Come on, Come on you back. Back. So you Shorts
with the Vicks players, Darren Russell and Budgie, <laughs> ahead of the game. Guys, what's your thoughts on the head of the game today? Uh, it'll be a challenge. Ball in the mush.